You don't have to raise your hand when knocking on the door. You don't have to, but it allows for more leverage which means louder knocking. Yeah I just walk into the door. The noise of my body hitting the door is just as effective but I don't have to lift my arm. Underhanded you have to knock with your whole arm, from the shoulder, instead of using your elbow as the lever. You get way more control knocking from up top, and can easier adjust the sound level. Damn actually true. Why tf do we do it? Is it because we wanna knock closer to ear level? You're right. Instead of knocking on the door. Just kick the fucker down. I'm truly enjoying reading people give advice on effective dynamics when knocking on a door. This is what Reddit is for. Reminded me of a scene from Lucky Number Slevin you have a really tall knock. If you knocked without raising your arm, would you still rotate your wrist? Or would it be more like punching a door? Listen here you motherfucker you cannot just go and fuck me up like that. Is part of it just procedural from when doors used to have knockers? We have typically observed others over time with the raising arm to knock and just mimic the process? Bro you would look like an absolute idiot trying to knock the door without lifting your arm, it's te most uncomfortable arm position ever. Interestingly enough that's not how I knock. I knock like I'm dealing cards in poker. Wrist sideways and just a flick of my wrist arm and tap the door with a single knuckle. I think I saw that in a movie as a teen and one of those secret clubs you need a password for. Thought it was cool and have always done it that way. This is a great shower thought I have no justification for why I'd not knock at like waist level etc. This boggled my little brain. Wonder if it's because doors used to have those door knockers on them and now we just mimic that motion, as it's been passed down. Who even knocks these days? I just approach the door and bark like a horse. I don't know what's wrong with me but reading this made me hear who short ass is knocking at my door. In Samuel L. Jackson's voice. As a former delivery driver, people get annoyed if you don't ring the bell, yet as they have a strict time slot and bells don't always work it's easier and quicker to knock. Honestly my first thought is that you could headbutt the door to knock if you don't want to raise your hand. I'm constantly told I knock like a cop. I am now very aware of it but can't help it lol face with tears of joy. A few past friends have absolutely sure one tea themselves when I have knocked unannounced. It's hilarious. I mean, it's more comfortable to knock it that way than otherwise. I don't usually raise my hand. I use the same knuckles to do it, but lower down. Like if you are doing a light punch in the nuts. I think we instinctively knock closer to ear level. So we can tell if it's too loud to be rude or too soft to be heard. I think it's a leftover from when humans had knockers on their door. You can alternatively kick the door thumbs up sign it's much louder and will certainly gain more attention than a knock, if you're lucky they might even yell at you. Knock with the backside of your hand towards the door. This way you can knock at a lower level, and can still knock up high if you wish. You get bonus points for looking a lot cooler while knocking, but you do sacrifice the power you would have had if you did your standard up high front facing knock. I feel like I could tell if the knock came from the lower door and would assume there's an insane person at my door. Or a kid. I guess it could be a kid. I grew up knocking high on the door using my knuckles. For the past 17 years though, I knock like a cop, but I work in EMS and we really want the old people who don't have their hearing aids in to hear us. True, sometimes I just kick the door with my foot. Only at a friend's house though. I think people would probably knock on their drug dealer's door at waist level, in an effort to be inconspicuous. The time it takes to raise my hand is the time I need for mental pep talk and self-encouragement needed to actually knock. Sometimes I just do a little woogity woogity with my fingernails to make a little titter tatter at about stomach height so my homies know it's me and not a cop. Now this is a good shower thought. I cringe at 9 out of 10 shower thought posts.
it's easier to knock to your personal tempo with your elbow bent. Easier to control the force of the knock as well. I DK about you, but I knock at a little above belly button height. Isn't it because the optimum wrenching position for our wrists to rotate the fist's knuckles onto the door is through a raised arm? In addition to the ability to control sound output I feel like if someone knocked on my door and it sounded like they were knocking lower I would assume it was a child knocking. What? You just knock with your hand hanging there or knock using your head? I used to have metal tipped boots I'd use that to knock as it echoes in the house more than my knuckles. Wouldn't a knock higher on the door carry sound better and further into a space than down low? Considering furniture, carpet and such, sound waves would have better carrying up high. You also don't have to sit down when on the toilet. Why do we do it? Because it feels better. This advice is like saying you don't have to swing your arms while walking. If the homeowner has nice knockers, you might want to mess around with those. Yeah. Okay. How the fuck does this have 4,000 upvotes? My guessing it's a cultural hang-on from when guests displayed that they were unarmed. The real question is, how many times do you knock? For me it's between 4 and 6 knocks at a time. Penny. 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 Yes, yes you do. One must raise you hand when knocking, the people of earth are not ready. I knock on my roommate's door with my hand lowered and only using my middle finger knuckle. But all other cases I use my hand lifted up. It's a holdover from when door knockers were traditionally positioned at eye level, back before the advent of doorbells. Yeah but then you look kinda weird and shifty. It's like, let me in pike, I'm hungry it's a weird vibe, makes your visit feel clandestine. No but it's certainly easier more natural feeling. If someone knocks on my door without raising their hand up I will immediately evacuate the earth bc they are a demon from another dimension. I knock at doors arm raised, backhanded, with my knuckles. But that's only because I'm simultaneously giving the middle finger. At a higher elevation, sound travels farther. That's why when speaking over a crowd, people raise themselves up. It's not that it's closer to ear level. It's closer to eye level, so you can see what you're doing. And, yes, the angle gives you more leverage based on the muscles used. It sounds like a lot of you don't know how to do a proper loud knock. It has to be heard from any room in the house, after all. It's a holdover from when you would have a guard on the opposite side with a solid window in the door. Because events on the other side of the door may be loud or illicit the guard would have to be able to hear the knock. Especially if coded. Near the ear is the best place to knock. I never do. Never have. Knock with knuckles, arm at natural position. But then I'm just lazy. Ha ha. I knock without raising it cause I just knock with a single finger knuckle. Knocking on the waist level seems more threatening for some reason lol. Anyone who's tried knocking without raising their hand which many of us have done whilst laden down and unable to put stuff down easily reach a doorbell will know how awkward and inefficient it is to knock without raising your hand. Try it a few times for yourself. If I'm wearing dress shoes, three taps with the side of the sole does the trick. Otherwise, I hardly ever raise my hand to knock. What's a more useful thing to know is that you only need to check where the door's hinges are if you want to know which way the door opens. If you can see them, it probably opens towards you. I don't knock, I stand in front of door, text message and wait. I think I might be a sociopath. You don't even have to knock on the door, you can just kick it or something similar. Don't recommend it though. How else am I supposed to accidentally bonk them on the head? Striking the middle of the door will produce the most resonance, so raising your hand isn't such a wrong thing to do. I'm still rocking that pee-wee Herman knock, thank you. Boom 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 tick 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 tick.